Welcome to lesson number 22, Active Setup Mechanism. In the previous video, we discussed some recommended practices for storing user data, how to implement a custom action to copy some files, and how to find out where an application stores its settings. In this video, we'll have a look at the Active Setup process. So, the Windows Active Setup is a mechanism that allows commands to be executed once per user at logon. When using Active Setup, the predefined local machine and current user registry keys are compared to see if the Active Setup was run. If the current user registry entries do not exist or if the current user version number is lesser than the local machine version number, the requested application is executed for the current user. As a result, when a new user signs in, on the operating system checks the active setup entries in local machine and current user and runs the command line in the stop path if the current user entry is missing or if the version in the current user is smaller than the version in the local machine. It is simple to do active setup simply include the following registry key in your MSI. Because the executable for those shortcuts is included in our VLC media player package, we know that we have an advertised shortcut. But what if there were no advertised shortcuts or if we didn't want to use advertised shortcuts? In that case, the custom actions we created to copy the user profile settings will never be executed, right? However, we can simply achieve this by using Active Setup. So let's have a look on how to add the Active Setup and how to delete the user registry that is created after the mechanism is executed. To add the Active Setup, simply go to the registry page and add the following registry. The stop path specifies the command active setup will execute when a user logs on. The slash FUS command is an MSI exec repair command. Now that we have this in place, the next time a user logs in, the MSI will be repaired and our custom action will be executed, which leads to the VLC configuration files to be copied in the user profile. But when we uninstall the application, we should also delete the current user registry that Active Setup creates. Otherwise, if the user reinstalls the application and deletes the VLC settings file, we will never receive them again. For this, we will use the following script which deletes the active setup created keys from all the users on the machine during an installation. A link to the script can be found in the description of the video. To place the script, we navigate to the custom actions page and add the new launch attach file action into the sequence. The execution time must be set to when the system is being modified and run under the local system account with full privileges should be checked because we will execute this custom action from the system context, allowing us to delete the registry from all the users on the machine. The execution stage should only be set to uninstall and the condition should be remove all. And that is it. Now you know how to add an active setup into your MSI packages, how to clean up the active setup during uninstall. And that is it. Now you know how to add an active setup mechanism in your MSI packages and how to clean up the active setup during uninstall. In the next video, let's have a look over bundled installations.